All right, hey uh, guys, a couple of quick things. You know, uh, we talked yesterday or we talked Saturday about disruptors like Carvana are getting punished by their old school rivals. It's a great article in, in Barron's Magazine sitting there talking about that. And they're talking about companies like Carvana, Teldox, uh, Peloton, uh, I know there's a couple couple others, Robin, Robin Hood, that were born out of the pandemic. And when you didn't have personal interaction, it was a necessity to have something like that. What you're seeing now, uh, what the article talks about, and, and one thing that ties into what we've been talking about for the for the last three years, okay, is is our activities tied in with, with our process okay we, we sit there and you've seen these companies that have soared okay everybody liked the new way not not interacting with people but what you've seen now that we've had the ability to to reconnect with people okay is you're starting to see uh, people don't like the process with Carvana okay they can't get titles to their car. They got nobody to talk with. Uh, they get a, a low quality product. I'm just talking about reading the reviews. When you sit there about Teladocs, who wants to sit there and talk to your doctor when, how's he gonna, you know, I mean, I, I went to the doctor yesterday and you know, they push on your stomach. Well, how, how are they gonna sit there and be able to tell you what's wrong with you or whatever without touching you, okay? Uh, it's one thing to, to just, you tell somebody the symptoms, okay? And they gotta try to make it off that as opposed to being able to look and touch and feel it. Remember where, how this ties all in? Man, we sit there and talk about getting our customers, okay? And it doesn't matter what you're selling, man, to touch and feel in the, the vehicle, okay? They're seeing it, they're using more senses. That is the thing, and what you're seeing is, it's not just a mark, stock market correction now, what you're sitting there looking at is seeing people wanna have that interaction, okay? And it is so important now for the habits that we form, because right now, man, selling cars like a new car or whatever, I mean, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. I mean, mm -hmm. when the car gets here, hey, let, let's, let's sell it. There's gonna be a day of reckoning, okay, for the customers that are paying $10,000 or $5,000 over because two or three years from now, a car is gonna be worth what the car is worth. And if they pay five or $10,000 over, they're gonna sit there and be upside down that much more, okay? So we, we'll have to tell our customers, hey, we haven't had any of that. Man, we've stayed at, at MSRP. We haven't gouged anybody. Man, that's all part of the value story. But to build the habits now, man, are we sitting there doing the little things, okay? Constantly, are we sitting there following up with our customers? Are we getting TOs or whatever? You know, Rachel had that deal uh, Saturday on selling a truck, guy made a ridiculous offer. Man, we went up a little bit more, he left. Man, we went up a little bit more, he countered at a higher number. Uh, we went just a smidge more. Man, we ended up putting a deal together and somebody took a deposit on the truck that he traded for yesterday. So we've already, man, that's, that's two deals right there. That's how it works. If you're just an online retailer, okay, and you don't have any interaction with the person, you're not gonna get that car deal. You're not gonna get the first car deal, you're not gonna get the second, okay? That's where it is so important, man. Are we sitting there Man, am I prospecting? Am I constantly prospecting? Okay, I want to re I want to be proactive in the market, not reactive. To just okay, well, it's like a, a, a I talk because I'm big and fat, floating in the water. Okay, man, I'm just going to go where the current carries me. Okay, as opposed to being an Olympic swimmer, and man, I'm going to get to where I want to go. All right, that's what it's all about. Habits, that's the reason we focus every day is sitting there talking about, man, we got our process, our activities, we have got to focus on our activities. Or we sit there prospecting, okay, every day. Or we sitting there following up with our people. 
And hey, if we don't know what to say, hey, come up here to a coach. Hey, Kevin, man, what do I say? Champ, man, what do I say? Jimmy, Rick, man, who can I grab? Ronnie, man, hey, what do I say? How can I help move this deal forward, okay? Now, everything's not gonna work, okay? Everybody's not gonna buy from us, man. Some will, some won't. Same way next, okay? Man, but you gotta focus on those habits because the people that are just sitting there riding the wave right now, that's gonna be five car Joe in three or four years from now or five car Fred, okay? Man, six car Steve, <laughs> all right? Seven car Scott, okay? Keep, keep on going, okay? It's important to sit there and focus on our habits of what we're doing so that we will create the market and not be reactive to it. The landscape's littered out there with these big companies, okay? When you sit there and look at what Carvana's done, okay? When you sit there and look at Auto Nation uh, and Sonic, CarMax, they've actually increased in sales, okay? Whereas Carvana's gone down, okay? Now, they have that somewhat of that interaction, okay? Man, you sit there and look, man, these last couple years, man, we've continued to grow, okay? Yeah, has growth gone up some? Yeah. But the bigger picture, man, we are still continuing to grow volume, okay? And not just taking the gross, okay? Volume, man, you've got more customers. Now you gotta follow them up. You gotta get them coming back. You gotta get them prospecting for you. Hey, are they sending people to you? Okay, man, once you've been doing this five, six, seven years, man, you ought to be having people, if you're on the phone, sitting there just contacting, texting, hey, man, hey, this is Tyson over at Golden Circle. Hey, it's the end of May, man, Memorial Day's coming up. After this, you got June and July. Man, I know you could use the extra money. Hey, who do you know that's in the market for a vehicle? Friend, family member, somebody you go to church, who's in, who is most likely to be in the market next? Man. Let me get their name and number. If I sell them, man, that's money coming to you. You could use a few extra hundred dollars, couldn't you? Well, sure I could, okay? Man, but you gotta do it. It all gets into the habits, okay? That's the reason we talk about it so much. And we sit there and look, okay, at what these other companies, okay, people are showing they do not like, okay, long-term not having interaction with somebody. I mean, we gotta treat them right. Okay, but people want to have that interaction. Okay, and man, if we sit there and make it a great customer experience on that some will, some won't, we'll have more that will, that won't. Okay, so hey, man, we gotta have a good, strong finish to the month. 